This video is about uh, the Polar T31 coded heart rate monitor. I decided to do this because uh, many people go to the gym and for one of three reasons, usually uh, strength training or uh, muscle tone and the last one probably would be fat burning. Well, I'm doing all three. But when it came down to the fat burning, um, I realized that I'm wasting time uh, because I'm not doing it right. There is, uh, the, the gym has $3,000 treadmills. Uh, um, they're very expensive. Not like uh, the one you find, you know, uh, that you purchase for home use. And most of them have a, like, uh, uh, probably it's a metal contacts that you hold on to uh, that, that monitor your heart rate. And what the computer does is it actually looks at your heart rate and you type in your age and your weight and all this other junk and and it, it, it height and whatever, I don't know. And then it basically adjusts the program to keep your heart rate at a certain um, target. And if you go too high, it will change the elevation and slow you down. If you go too low, it'll speed it up and it actively does this. There is a certain range that you need to keep your heart rate in in order to burn fat. Again, this has nothing to do with strength training or muscle tone or anything like that. Um, what I was doing, I was doing 35 minutes at uh, 4 miles an hour at the highest elevation and I was burning 400 calories, which is pretty good. But I found out, like I said, that a lower heart rate is actually better at burning fat than what I was doing. Because when I got off that thing, I was exhausted. So what the problem is the metal contacts that you hold on to do not work very well. They constantly lose connection, they give me false readings, all kinds of junk, and then it, it, as soon as it loses connection it just stops or it, uh, it, it, does, it slows it down. It's not supposed to be slowed down. Um, so obviously the people at the gym are dumb jocks that don't know anything about it. So I decided to figure out who, made, who makes the uh, treadmill and I called the manufacturer they don't know anything about it. So I said, all right, look, send me the manual. And I got the manual, I looked through the book, and it turns out you can buy this uh, wireless heart monitor that is like way more accurate than the, the grab-on uh, probes or whatever those things are, the metal things. And um, it, it, it just, it works better. So basically it's more accurate and it doesn't disconnect and it communicates wirelessly to the treadmill. So basically this, I mean, this is, uh, there's no replaceable battery. It has a 2,500, uh, 2,500 hour uh, battery and then you have to throw it out and get another one. Well, I was like, that doesn't sound like much. Well, it is. 2,500 hours at one hour a day is seven years. So I don't think that's a big deal. The previous model had batteries and people were complaining it rusted. The probes are right here and right up in here. And you basically just put this around your chest and it syncs up with the thing and that's it. So it's a Polar T31. Uh, this particular model works with the Life Fitness. Um, I would highly recommend it that you check your gym, make sure that they actually support this and the machines actually support it. I'm looking forward to trying this out. The Apple Watch does much more accurate heart rate uh, monitoring but unfortunately the Apple Watch is too new most of the gyms have like invested a ton of money in these equipment and they don't update them and they don't you know they don't care because nobody's really that serious about fitness I like this idea I think this is cool um, the Apple Watch does not communicate back to that the Apple Watch doesn't even know, or a lot of fitness monitors don't even know you're working on a treadmill. And so I think this is going to be really useful because it's going to drop my um, workout time and intensity, and yet I'm going to burn more fat. So if they could come up with this shit for, you know, the other machines and stuff like that, that would be really cool. It just basically comes down to the technology. So take a look at it. 